all right guys now what I'm actually gonna be showing you here it's going to be the health app you're gonna see that application probably as soon as you download iOS 8 and you're gonna be like whoa that's something I never seen before so with this here with the health app it's actually currently something let me go back to the main screen first this is pretty much what you will be seeing you will just be seeing your dashboard you can change it to day week month year however you want to watch it currently from the start your dashboard is gonna be empty you're gonna have to add some stuff there for example let's say um active calories uh, let's say here I want to add another point and let's say I want to select 200 calories so now I have a total of 300 calories that I want to burn I want to keep that in track and I want to be able to access it quickly so I just select their show on dashboard then on the bottom left hand side go to dashboard again and there you go it's gonna be showing it on dashboard and then as soon as you start moving around I think the iPhone will kinda of keep track of that and it will kinda of let you know there how many calories you're burning and all that and the cool thing about this app is if you have kinda of like a Nike Plus um, wristband or later down the future in January when the Apple Watch comes out it will kinda of keep track of that too and it will add it here to your to your information which is when you think about it it's really freaking awesome um, also you can see there you can keep track of your biotin blood glucose which I'm pretty sure it's gonna help a lot of people out your blood pressure blood type um, talking about blood type let's say um, hopefully not but if you were ever to get in a car wreck and pretty much the, the emergency the ambulance was wanting to know what type of blood type you were you can actually set up your medical ID just click on edit here just test you can add your birthday which I'll set it up to that for the moment then you can add an emergency contact whichever you want it to be you can add your blood type that's not what I'm actually am but just kind of a sample here add a, your organ donor add your weight and then add your height and then what you'll do here is you can actually set it up so show when locked you just pretty much select you're done and let's say you have your lock screen you can turn it back on what you do here is that you will slide it to unlock you will go to emergency and then you will select their medical ID and it will show your medical ID so I, I mean it's really kinda come in handy if you have any type like that it's gonna be good there the other thing here that's actually gonna be helpful so like I said you can add a lot of stuff in here it's really cool when you, once you get down to it you can kind of keep track of all your stuff in sources you're most, mostly gonna be see there uh, if you're using third-party apps uh, just applications pretty much that want to access this this health app and want to share that information to this main health app so it's really cool uh, I would suggest definitely check it out play with it uh, it's it pretty much something to keep a really eye on because it's gonna do some amazing stuff especially with people that might have issues there with the blood pressure or anything like that it will really be helpful if you guys